Christmas is coming up. I got a few projects to do in the shop, but I've been sitting around watching YouTube videos because I, it's too cold and I want to go outside. And I watched a video, um, found a new channel, Inheritance Machining, pretty cool. And he ran a test bar on a lathe. So I have never done this before. I did restore this, spent a whole bunch of hours, replaced parts, got everything working. I've done some things on here. I've been really happy with the precision, but I've never actually measured the precision. So I found this inch and a half, uh, two foot bar stock. I'm going to take a pass and see what kind of precision I get. Now this first pass is just kind of a shot in the dark because I have not checked anything um, to see how, uh, how precise it is. So if it turns out great, I'm gonna go back to woodworking, otherwise I'll go a little bit deeper into this. But essentially, the tailstock, the live center, and also the bed, all those things should come into what could produce error. So we'll see just where it is and go from there. challenging to get a good camera shot. Let's, uh, let's try this. First, I'll start by cleaning up the bar by taking a roughing pass. Then to prepare the bar for measuring, I'll take a finishing pass. Now there is an adjustment on the tailstock. So there is a bolt here and a scale right there. I'm gonna see if I can't get that adjusted. This might take me a little bit to figure out. What does this do? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see what the other side does. Oh. How does this adjust then? How do you go one way or the next? Hmm. All right, I figured it out. There's two bolts on either side here and they kind of, I think they just pull. So if I tighten this one, and loosen this one, it will, Oh, look at that, there it goes. Four thousandths. And then just tighten this. Okay. And there's no way it was that easy. Can it really be that easy? Let me just Tighten it back. All right, let's take another pass. got it. One loosens, one tightens, it shifts it one way, reverse it, goes the other way. 
But when I clamp it down, sometimes it moves a little bit. When I tighten it down, it moves a little bit. So every time I do that, I tighten it, I check it, I reset it. I just ran it the whole length and it seems to be straight. I'm gonna take a cut now and hopefully do one final measurement. I'm used to woodworking. This whole metalworking is a brand new thing for me. And uh, I know not, not exactly a starter lathe, but it's just kind of crazy to be thinking in thousands and ten thousands and woodworking I'm thinking like 30 seconds. <laughs> so, all right, here we go again. Still not right. Why can't I get that dialed in back there? Back where I started. I just realized that I can't math today and I've been going in circles. So say this is closer to the cutter. This center right here. Yeah. So that's gonna be skinnier here than over here. Yeah. So if it's fatter by say like 30, 30 thousands yeah you don't move it back 30 thousands because okay. then you taper the other way mm -hmm. i've been going back and forth <laughs> mm -hmm. you're supposed to take the 30 and divide it in half yeah yeah that's what i've been doing this morning because <laughs> you need a radius not a diameter yeah mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i thought i had to shim that mm. but i don't want to shim that Turns out, I don't think I have to shim that. Okay. I just have to math. <laughs> oh. How late were you up last night? I might take a break and get breakfast. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, it's one twenty. One twenty. Yeah. Oh. I have pizza. Can I have some? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. I took a cut right here, just on the edge, and one on the edge here. The difference is 3.5 thousandths. So I'm gonna adjust this 1.75 thousandths, and then I think I will do a full pass and see what I get. But just trying to get close right now, because um, it takes quite a while to uh, go 24 inches. After changing inserts and trying a few things, I got one that cut pretty freely. This is the best that I've gotten with the bar. I kind of wonder if I could adjust the tailstock and get it a little bit better, but the encouraging thing to me is that first 12 inches right over here is within a, well, within a 10,000th. After that, it does change a little bit out here. I think maybe that could be adjusted with the tailstock. I'm not actually sure, but I think maybe I could get that dialed in just a little bit better. Overall, I think this is pretty good. This lathe was built in 1940, and it still seems to be in good working order. Thinking back, this is nearly perfect right here. There's a small, thick spot, barely measurable. But then over here, the numbers get small, 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 and then they start to get bigger again. Um, I think that the lathe is more accurate from here to here than I am measuring. And the reason is because of the live center. I don't think this is as perfect as the ways and the headstock. You can see there's a little bit of stress in the bar, about two thousandths when that's tightened. I'm not sure if that matters, but what I do think might matter is, well, let's, let's spin the bar real slow. If you look, Let's adjust that a little bit. Just 
just over a thousandth off or run out. And I think that's coming from my live center. Let's go ahead and indicate right there and see now. So that's showing about half a thou. And that's not really any different. Remember, that's a smaller diameter, so it should be smaller. I guess another possibility is that maybe I'm putting too much pressure on it. So let's go light and lock that down. Interesting. So this is less pressure and look at it, it's almost perfect. So that's really interesting. It appears that on this combination, tailstock and that live center, that I can put too much pressure on the live center and that is throwing off the accuracy. I'm not gonna go redo that test bar. I'm very satisfied with how it turned out. I just think that's an interesting observation. That's all for tonight. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.